another Take 5. Hard to believe we are just one week away from Christmas. The excitement is building as we get ready to celebrate the birth of Jesus. One of the joyous traditions of Christmas is the giving and receiving of gifts. I think we all like to give gifts as well as receive them. And so I was just thinking about the giving and receiving of gifts. First, the giving. Not just about what am I going to give to those that I love, family and friends, but more importantly, what gifts am I going to give to God this Christmas? And three gifts came to my mind that I hope to give God. Three gifts that probably we all should be giving to God. Not only will they bring Him joy, but they will change our hearts as well when we give those gifts. The first of those gifts would be the gift of time. To give God the gift of time. How much time do you and I really give to God? Is it one hour a week on Sunday morning? Is it a few minutes each day as we start the day with prayer? One of the gifts that we can give God is our time to make Him a priority in our day. To let him know throughout the day how thankful we are for the gifts that he's given us. The second gift that we can give to God is the gift of our talents, our abilities. Uh, gifts that God has given us, we can then in turn use for him. And then the third gift that we could give to God is serving others. It's serving others. When we read in Matthew chapter 25 and we read about those who gave water to the thirsty, food to the hungry, clothes to those that had no clothes, those that visited the sick and imprisoned, and those that welcomed in strangers, Jesus said, whatever you've done for the least of these, you have done for me. And so at Christmas time, we can be thinking about those who are in need, and how can we be a blessing to them. And so I would ask you, what gifts are you going to give God this Christmas? Now, we love to give gifts, but we also enjoy receiving gifts. And the wonderful thing is, is that you and I have received so many wonderful gifts from God. First of all, we have received the gift of life. The fact that you and I are living, breathing, waking up each day, that is a gift that God has given to each of us. God has also given us the gift of His Son, Jesus Christ. In fact, the Word calls Jesus the indescribable gift. That's what Jesus is for you and I. What an incredible gift we have in Jesus. And that's why the Word says He is a gift that really is indescribable and then there's a third gift that God gives us, and it's the gift of grace. Paul tells us, the wages of sin is death, but grace is a gift from God, a free gift that we can receive. God has given us His grace. And then the last gift that I think about is the gift of eternity. Uh, God says to you and I that if we'll place our faith in Jesus... If we'll accept God's gift of grace, uh, then He has a gift for us, and that is eternal life. Spending eternity in heaven. And so this Christmas, as you are buying gifts to give to others, I hope that you'll stop and think about the gifts that you want to give to God. This Christmas, as others generously and lovingly give you gifts, I pray that you'll stop. Take a few moments and think about all the wonderful gifts that God has given you and I. Welcome to another Take 5.